Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and how do I find a partner worth having. Sometimes a life partner comes into our life unexpectedly. We don't expect them to show up when we're losing another life partner. We don't expect them to send us loving tweets and loving reminders that we are smart, intelligent, wonderful, beautiful, or handsome on a regular basis. All of that stuff goes over with us in our souls really well until someone involves themselves in our life. When they involve themselves in our life, it ruins the relationship that we have with someone special. When someone special plays a game, it's sort of never the same. When someone special tells a lie, it's never more than what we feel like we should die. Now when I make these rhymes, people don't think there's enough time, but the truth is anyone can do it as long as you put your mind to it. In life, we have moments of time to tell people how we feel. We have moments of time to get really real. We have moments of time to be annoyed by the car noise, but then we also have time to develop more poise. In life, people are taking rights away from others. They are literally saying, this is mine now. I'm gonna take this now. I have experienced nothing but shelter theft and asinine behavior of people since I arrived in Champaign, Illinois. My entire being has been molested. Things have been removed from my pockets by a law enforcement officer who has immorally and illegally stalked me. And as much as I'd like to say, screw you, buddy, what I know is that federal law is beyond in play. When today someone stole my journal, he must recognize that he has just committed a felony. Not only is a journal personal property, it is filled with passcodes for cyber issues, which means they've created a cyber crime. It's also filled with life insurance policy information, which makes it a federal crime. It had money inside, which also makes it a felony. It had a gift card inside that was really what I was planning to eat with. So they've taken from a homeless man his money, his credit card, his journal, his information, his contacts, and you have to look at these people and you wonder, what in the world are you thinking? Under what God's universe do you have the right to steal anything at all? Every time I put cords in my bag, I wake up and find that some fag, no offense, has just picked out the cords that I set in for my own life. I am missing microphone cords. I am missing extension cords. I am missing Apple cords. I am missing Android cords. I am missing a lot of things that I pulled from a trash can because the loving Lord of God in heaven said, go into this place, open this bag, and you will find what you need. It's amazing how people take advantage. I'd like to tell you the stories on that sometime, but I'm gonna hold off so people can see the illness of their lives. In life, we have moments of time to tell someone what is real and how we feel. The rage I feel had to come out today because I cannot reset myself in a pagan way if I don't release the rage. I have a plastic bat and I literally obliterated that. It almost broke with how much force was coming out of it. What I mean to say is, while I rage at the fact that someone stole my journal and illegally and immorally took my money and my credit cards and my life insurance information and all the things I practically had to refind and relocate when the sheriff in Indianapolis did virtually the same thing and stole all my documents, all my clothing, all my religious goods, everything in my life that was important to me along with my future spouse I literally had to let it out because if you don't let it out in constructive and healthy ways you will implode or explode and I am a man of peace who has professed the Lord's name and I will not be put into anyone's game I applied for a job with the federal government I believe they put me in play for a time I was learning along the way because I am old, not young, and it takes a little while for me to stick things in my mind. But here's the problem, here's the pride, here's the issue.
that's facing those who are violating my life. The federal government may just be watching you through all the personal interest cameras around to take your little asses off to jail where you will never be found. Every time they threaten that on my life, the Lord puts me in a different place because the Lord God above handles all the love space. When a man is in love, he is gifted from above, and when she says no, she might just end up below. In life, we tell the truth of our life, but when people die, they give up no strife. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. That was a nursery rhyme we spoke all the time when I was a child in my little bed. But what makes me so upset is how these men think they're going to play with God's head. You see, God produces a life. God gifts to people. And when men of the force or men of a family or men of a community steal in entitlement ways, they are literally taking from the house of the Lord of what the Lord has provided to the impoverished. It is an immoral act. It is an illegal act. It is a sinful act that shows you are in Satan's house. And when my love played a game with me and made me pick up all her shit all over the community, I proved my ability. I don't have to prove my ability to anyone ever again. My abilities are mine. Your abilities are yours. But when you shit on God's plan, you literally will find yours in trouble. My life is mine. Your life is yours. It doesn't matter how many people I love on, they all react the same way. I'll tell some stories about people I've helped, and then I'll tell you what they had to say when I put them in a play. Life is not a bowl of tears. Life is not full of nuts. Life is something you make it, but you people are absolute butts.